New tonight, a new federal law will bring major changes to the foster care system here in our state. The Families First Prevention Services Act goes into effect next month. The goal is to get children into nurturing homes instead of residential facilities and group homes. News 5's Mayo Davison is live tonight at Kids Crossing to explain some of the new changes and how foster families are reacting to them. Mayo. Diane, instead of traditional foster homes and group homes, there will now be just therapeutic homes, which will help kids recover from trauma they've experienced and improve any misbehavior. But there are some concerns with this new law. Champion St. Paul has always wanted to be a foster parent. I always wanted to kind of be like my dad. His father worked in a group home, which inspired him to become one and he now fosters six teenage boys. I got a big garage. We must, sometimes we fix cars. Well, sometimes we'll, you know, like this greenhouse out here, we'll be building certain things. St. Paul is a foster parent who's tried to create a therapeutic home for his kids. While he sees a lot of benefits with the model, he's concerned with some of the changes the Families First Prevention Services Act will bring. With the foster homes, it could be a situation where we get the kid that should be in a facility in you know a therapeutic home or which was a foster home and it kind of kind of can it may possibly throw some things off kids crossing says the act is meant to prevent kids from going into the foster care system by providing more support services to their parents or guardians and incentivizing states and counties to keep them out of residential and group homes the outcomes have shown for many years the kids do better in family settings and residential programs should be used more as an intervention. With the act, there will be more of a need for foster families. Uh, there's funds being made available to uh, again for more foster homes and to increase the rate um, that we are paying foster parents. It's going to be a challenge for foster parents, you know, kind of taking on that that that, you know, facility crowd for sure. Um, but overall, I think uh, the right people you know, we'll, we'll definitely you know, take two. The new change will require new and current foster parents to undergo new training, but St. Paul says they've prepared for it. He encourages any parents interested in fostering to do it. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Mayo Davison, News 5. Our foster family is pretty incredible. Mayo, thank you.